thank you for your presence. Thank you for your loving kindness. Thank you for how far you've brought us. We love you. We worship you. We give you all the glory. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you for what you're about to do in our lives. In Jesus' name. Thank God for this opportunity to come before you once again. Uh, to Him alone be all the glory and for the great and mighty things He continues to do in the name of Jesus. Amen. And are you ready for the word? Um, we thank God for uh, what He's about to do. Uh, we are preparing for our 40 days of glory. Uh, starting from Monday the 22nd of June uh, to, to the 31st of July. Uh, I believe without any shadow of doubt that it will be a time of consecration, a time where we'll experience the presence of God, a time where we'll see God's glory in an unusual way in the mighty name of Jesus. If you're ready for the word, please turn with me in your Bibles to the book of Matthew chapter 17, Matthew chapter 17 verse 21, Matthew chapter 17 verse 21. Yeah, you know the story, the background of the story has to do with a young boy uh, who uh, keeps having epileptic fits and uh, he keeps throwing himself into wire, water, and fire. And uh, uh, he brought his father brought him to the disciples of Jesus uh, to be cured, but uh, they couldn't cure him. By then, Jesus had taken the three disciples, Peter, James, and John, to the Mount of Transfiguration. And after they had an encounter with Moses and Elijah, when they came down. Uh, the nine disciples still could not uh, heal uh, the boy. And because of that, Jesus rebuked them. And Jesus said, O oh, you of little faith, O oh, you perverse generation, how long should I be with you? And so in Matthew chapter 17, verse 21, the Bible says that Jesus said, How be it this kind? However, this kind does not go out except by prayer and fasting. Hallelujah. However, this kind, this kind, the, if you put the volume on that one, please, let's speak. Amen. So Jesus said, however, just that one, a bit of volume. Jesus said, however, this kind uh, does not go out except by prayer and fasting. Amen. And we are blessed by the reading of God's word. So I'm sharing with you tonight in preparation for our 40 days of glory on a message I have titled The Dynamic Power of Prayer and Fasting. The Dynamic Powers of Prayer and Fasting. Uh, it's important for us to understand that Christianity is a work of faith. Our work with God is a work of faith. And in this work of faith, there are guidelines stipulated by God for us to be victorious. And so if you're going to be a victorious Christian, then you have to follow the stipulated guidelines that God has put in place to help you become successful. Because God has given us his word as a roadmap for success and if you diligently follow God's word you cannot fail in life so prayer and fasting is part of the stipulated guidelines given to us by God for us to do exploits so fasting is important prayer and fasting is important there are some things that will never shift except through prayer and fasting. 
there are some things in your life that has been perpetuating, that has been there all these years, that will never move except by prayer and fasting. So it's important that when we call for a time of 40 days of glory, you purpose in your heart to follow these guidelines because through this prayer and fasting, generational curses in your family will be broken. Through this prayer and fasting, generational blessings will be released into your family that will go into the third and the fourth and the fifth and the sixth up to a thousand generations if Jesus tarries. So that should tell you the scripture we read in Matthew 17, 21 makes us to understand that there are some things that will never shift except through prayer and fasting. There are some things in your life that will never move except you take your time to seek God through prayer and fasting. Why fast and is fasting biblical? Why do we fast and is fasting biblical? Matthew chapter 6 verse 16. Matthew chapter 6 verse 16 Jesus said moreover when you fast did you see that Jesus never said if you fast Jesus said moreover when you fast do not be like the hypocrites with a sour countenance for they disfigure their faces that they may appear to men to be fasting assuredly they, I say to you, they have their reward. So when we are fasting, we don't change the countenance of our faces just so that everybody will know that you are fasting. But Jesus said, moreover, when you fast. So that means fasting is mandatory. As a Christian, you must have time, sometimes once a week, sometimes once a month, sometimes you know three times in a month just to go on a personal time of prayer and fasting because that demonic activities operating in your life will never move except you engage the altar of prayer and fasting esther fasted for three days esther fasted for three days so fasting is biblical Daniel fasted for 21 days. Daniel fasted for 21 days. So fasting is biblical. Moses fasted for 40 days. So fasting is biblical. Jesus, our Lord and Master Savior, fasted for 40 days and 40 nights. So fasting is biblical. And Jesus said, when the bridegroom is taken away, then the the, 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 the disciples who fast so we must fast fasting is biblical and it helps us fasting for your information doesn't change God but fasting changes you fasting positions you to receive everything that God has for you in a season from him fasting makes you spiritually alert and spiritually sensitive Fasting and prayer and, and the studying of the word is the spiritual food for your spirit man. So fasting is important. Hallelujah. Fasting is important. Quickly, let's go and look at the effects of prayer and fasting. Second Chronicles chapter 7 verse 14. The effects of prayer and fasting. The Bible says, if my people who are called by my name will humble themselves. That word humble themselves means fasting. Bringing yourself under fasting. Humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways. Then I will hear from heaven and forgive their sins and heal their land. So that means in a time of prayer and fasting, God, turn God hear our prayers quicker. Are you following what I'm saying? During the time of prayer and fasting, 
God hears our prayers quicker and quickly. Our prayers are speedy. So the Bible says, if my people who are called by my name will humble themselves. So in a time of fasting, we humble ourselves. You can't be fasting and be proud. God won't hear any prayer from you. During the time of prayer and fasting, we have to humble ourselves. You humble yourself and you seek the face of God. You seek his face diligently. We seek his face with all our heart. We seek his face with all our might. We seek his face with all our strength. We have to learn to seek the face of God diligently. And if we turn from our wicked ways, you can't be fasting and praying and still be a wicked person. Are you following me? You have to turn from your wicked ways. When you are praying and fasting, you have to turn away from every form of wickedness. When you turn away from wickedness then God says I will hear from heaven are you following what I'm saying God says I will hear from heaven and when I hear from heaven I'll forgive you of your sin and I will heal your land God wants to heal your land your land that has been sick maybe your land could be your life your Christian life your walk with God is full of sin God wants to heal your land. So it's time to engage the mystery of prayer and fasting. Hallelujah. It's time to engage the mystery of prayer and fasting. Turn with me please to Isaiah chapter 58 from verse 1 to 12. Isaiah chapter 58 from verse 1 to 12. And let's go and look at the type of fasting that God accepts. Hallelujah. Isaiah chapter 58 from verse 1 to 7. It says, cry aloud, spare not, lift up your voice like a trumpet. So during the time of prayer and fasting, this is what we do. We cry aloud, we spare not, we lift up our voice like a trumpet. We tell God's people, it says, tell my people their transgression and the house of Jacob their sins. So you see, time of prayer and fasting is a time of consecration is a time where you don't have a desire for sin no more it says verse 2 it says, yet they seek me daily and delight to know my ways as a nation that did righteousness and did not forsake the ordinances of God so during the time of fasting and prayer we delight to know the ways of God a couple of weeks ago, I taught on a two parts message titled, Delight Yourself in the Lord. When you delight yourself in the Lord, He will cause you to ride on the high hills of the earth. Are you following what I'm saying? So, during the time of prayer and fasting, our delight is in God. Our delight is in the ways of God. Our delight is in the things of God. It says, as a nation that did righteousness. So during the time of prayer and fasting, we walk in righteousness. We do not forsake the ordinances of God. Verse 3, the Bible says that they ask, verse 3, it says, Why have we fasted? Why have we fasted? Sorry, let's go back to verse 2. We still haven't finished reading verse 2 properly. It says, they ask of me the ordinances of justice. They take delight in approaching God. Oh, that's awesome. So during this time of prayer and fasting, you will take delight in approaching God in the mighty name of Jesus. Verse 3 says, why have we fasted? They say, you have not seen. Have you not? You have not seen. Why have we afflicted our souls? And you take no notice. In fact, in the day of your fast, you find pleasure and exploit all your labor. So this is the wrong type of fasting that God is against. So when you exploit your laborers, when you walk in wickedness, when you walk in sin, God do not hear your prayer and fasting. He doesn't answer your prayer and fasting. So verse 4, it says, Indeed, you fast. God is telling them the kind of fast they are engaging in. God says, indeed, you fast for strife and debate. 
during the time of fasting, you must not engage in strife or debate. And you strike with the fist of wickedness. You strike with the fist of wickedness. You will not fast as you do this day to make your voice heard on high. Hallelujah. Is this, is it that I have, God is now going to tell us the kind of fast he has chosen. He said, is it a fast that I have chosen? A day for a man to afflict his soul? Is it to bow down his head like a bulrush? And to spread out sackcloth and ashes? Would, would you call this a fast? And an acceptable day to the Lord? Do you see? So any fast that causes strife, causes grief, contention, fighting, swearing, these are not the kind of fasting that God expects. You can't be fasting and be committing adultery. You can't be fasting and be committing fornication. You can't be fasting and be and be dealing in corruption and bribery and all of that. God will not hear your prayers. God will not hear your prayers. You can't be fasting and be watching things that pollute your spirit man. Are you following what I'm saying? God said, will you call this a fast? An acceptable day to the Lord? Verse 6. It says, is this not the fast that I have chosen? Look at the fast that God is choosing for us. Is this not the fast that I have chosen? To lose the bounds of wickedness. To undo heavy burdens. To let the oppressed go free. Hallelujah. So this is the kind of fast God has chosen. And that you may break every yoke. The seven is not to share your bread with the hungry. So during the time of prayer and fasting, God expects us to be generous. There are certain religion that goes on fast and during their time of fasting they, they give food to the poor they have learned from us who are supposed to be doing that and are, are practicing it they take a month, a whole month to fast and during their time of fasting they give food to the poor, they send food they look for all the poor people in the community giving them food one of the things we started many years ago when we, we used to have uh, uh, 31 days of prayer and fasting in the month of July is to mandate every Christian, every believer, every member of Solution Chapel to put aside one pound every day. To put aside one pound every day and we bring that one pound every day all together of 31 pounds, we bring it together and we, we go and give it to a charity. That's what we do. And it's important because God expects us during the time of prayer and fasting to be generous. He says, it's, it's, it's not to share your bread with the hungry and that you bring to your house the poor who are cast out. When you see the naked, that you cover him and not hide yourself from your own flesh. So this is the kind of fasting that God expects from you and I. Verse 8. God says, when you follow these kinds of fasting, look at what will happen. The chosen fast. The chosen fast. Look at what will happen. God says, then your light shall break forth like the morning. Your healing will spring forth speedily. And your righteousness shall go before you. The glory of the Lord shall be your real God. That's why we are going on the 40 days of glory. During the time of 40 days of glory, I don't know about you, I want to experience the glory of God on another level. I want to subdue the flesh and allow my spirit man to operate on a higher dimension. During the 40 days of glory, some of you will call things to come to pass and you'll see it manifest. During the time of 40 days of glory, you'll call it and you'll see it. You speak it and you see it. You call for those things which be not as though they were, and you begin to see the manifestation of them. 
during the time of 40 days of glory you will see you will literally see the glory of god during the time of 40 days of glory deaths will be cancelled during the time of 40 days of glory healing will break forth during the time of 40 days of glory you will declare a word and god will accomplish it in your mouth during the time of glory every deadness around you will receive life during the time of 40 days of glory will experience the life of god the very zoe life of god during the time of 40 days of glory none shall be sick among your family every perpetual mountain will be leveled in the midst of the year what has not happened before god will cause it to happen in the mighty name of jesus that's why it's time to engage the altar of prayer and fasting so in isaiah chapter 58 a scripture we're reading god is telling us the specific prayer that he accepts hallelujah Isaiah 58 verse 8 God is telling us his chosen fast it says then your light will break forth some of you you have been in obscurity for so long but in this 40 days of glory your light will break forth the world will hear of you during the time of 40 days of glory your healing will spring forth speedily during the time of 40 days of glory, your righteousness will go before you. During this time of 40 days of glory, the glory of the Lord will be your real God. In the mighty name of Jesus. Verse 9. The Bible says, Then you shall call, and I, the Lord, I will answer. My God, my God. You shall cry. And he'll say, here I am. If you take away the yoke from your midst, the pointing of the finger, and speaking wickedness. God says, then you shall call, and I, Jehovah, I will answer. God is waiting to answer somebody during these 40 days of glory. God is waiting to answer your prayers. Every prayer you have prayed during these 40 days of glory, God will answer them in the mighty name of Jesus. Verse 10. It says, If you extend your soul to the hungry and satisfy the afflicted soul, then your, your light shall dawn in the darkness. My God. Then your light shall dawn in the darkness, and your darkness shall be as noonday. That means... During the time of 40 days of glory, there shall no longer be darkness seen in your life. Verse 11, God says, The Lord will guide you continually. What a blessing. The Lord will guide you continually and satisfy your soul in drought and strengthen your bones. You shall be like a well-watered garden. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Those from among you shall build their old waste places. You shall raise up the foundations of many generations, and you shall be called the repairer of the breach, the restorer of streets to dwell in, in the mighty name of Jesus. That will be your portion during these 40 days of glory. So get ready, prepare your heart. Prepare your family and you begin to see the manifestations of God's glory. Quickly, as we get ready to close, many Christians have lost their destinies to food. Hebrews chapter 12, verse 16 to 17. The Bible says, Lest there be any fornicator or profane person like Esau, who for one morsel of food sold his birthright. May you not sell your birthright during the 40 days of glory. May food not cause you to sell your birthright. May food not cause you to lose your destiny in the mighty name of Jesus. The Bible says in verse 17, For you know 
that afterward when he had repented when he had repented he wanted to inherit the blessing he was rejected for he found no place for repentance though he sought it diligently with tears I pray for you that during the 40 days of glory you will not miss your destiny you will not be forsaken in the mighty name of Jesus five benefits of fasting five benefits of fasting quickly number one when you fast and pray you walk in power when you fast and pray you walk in power Jesus said I've given you power over every evil spirit when you fast you generate power number two benefit of prayer and fasting is we walk under open heavens we walk under open heavens the heavens are open over you the heavens are open you operate under the blessing number three when we fast and pray we walk in kingdom expansion as a church we operate in kingdom expansion the church of God begins to expand we begin to reach millions and billions to the glory of his name number four benefit of fasting and prayer is restoration of lost glory some of you have lost your glory but during this 40 days of glory God is going to restore your glory in the mighty name of Jesus number five is ex you experience signs wonders and miracles you experience signs wonders and miracles hallelujah listen prayer and fasting empowers us to reach the world with the gospel of the kingdom prayer and fasting empowers us to reach the world with the gospel of the kingdom Matthew chapter 4 from verse 23 to 25 Matthew chapter 4 from verse 23 to 25 the Bible says that Jesus and Jesus went about all Galilee teaching in their synagogues preaching the gospel of the kingdom and healing all kinds of sicknesses and all kinds of diseases among the people then his fame went throughout all Syria and they brought to him all sick people who were afflicted with various diseases and torments and those who were demon possessed epileptics and paralytics and he healed them all verse 25 is key the Bible says that and great multitudes followed him from Galilee and from Decapolis, Jerusalem, Judea, and beyond the Jordan. Do you see the effects of prayer and fasting? When we pray and fast, we are empowered to reach the world with the gospel of the kingdom. Great multitudes follows us. And during this time of 40 days of glory, we are not going to be praying, oh Lord, give me shoe. Oh Lord, give me, give me a bag. Oh Lord, give me give me a tie no we are praying for the expansion of the kingdom oh god save one million souls today oh god let the whole world get to know you oh god let the prime minister of this nation be saved oh god let the queen be saved oh god let the presidents across the world be saved oh god let my mp know you oh god let people in authority have an encounter with you as you pray those prayers everything that concerns you god will give it to you in the mighty name of jesus hallelujah so tonight as we come to the end of this service i want to encourage you for you to know that god wants to do something new in your life during these 40 days of glory if you will open your heart god will transform your life i said god will transform your life god will break limitations in your life any form of negative curse that has followed you up until now in these 40 days of glory it shall be broken 
I said it shall be broken in the mighty name of Jesus. Wherever you are, before we close, we just want to pray. We just want to pray. Just open your mouth and begin to pray. Just open your mouth and begin to pray. Ask God to give you the spirit of grace and supplication to be able to engage in the 40 days of glory. As we begin on Monday, 40 days of power, 40 days of glory, 40 days of fasting, 40 days of wisdom, 40 days of revelation, 40 days of the supernatural. Open your mouth and begin to pray. Pray in the spirit. Pray in the spirit. Pray in the spirit. Pray in the spirit. Ask God. Ask God to show you his glory. 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 In the name of Jesus. Ask God to give you grace to begin the 40 days of glory and to finish it. The grace to begin and to finish. The anointing to begin and to finish. Pray now. Pray now. Pray now. Pray now. Ask God to give you the grace to begin and to finish. The grace to begin and to finish. The grace to begin. The 40 days of glory. 40 days of glory. You will not be like Esau. You will not lose your destiny because of a muscle of bread. Because of a muscle of food. Because of a soup. No, it will not happen. You will go from beginning to the end. The power of God will come upon you. The grace of God to fast. The ability to fast. God is going to show you his glory. God is going to show you his power. God is going to show you his might. In the name of Jesus. Don't stop praying. Ask God for grace. Grace to begin. Grace to fast. The grace to fast. The grace to begin and to finish. The grace to fast and to finish. The grace to begin fasting on Monday and to end in July. It will be an awesome time. Mama ke te ke in the name of Jesus great grace great grace great grace grace to pray grace to fast grace to do exploit great grace great grace great grace ask God to give you grace the grace to begin and to finish 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 you will walk in the blessing during the 40 days of glory you will walk in the blessing during the 40 days of glory you will walk in the blessing every curse will be destroyed every curse will be destroyed in the mighty name of Jesus we release upon you an unusual grace an unusual grace an unusual grace to experience the blessing to experience the blessing to experience the blessing in the mighty name of Jesus in the mighty name of Jesus yes push through push through push through push it push it push through your time has come your time of visitation has come it's your season of glory your Lord's glory will be restored in the mighty name of Jesus in the mighty name of Jesus In the mighty name of Jesus. Father Lord, we thank you for the grace to begin the 40 days of glory. Come this Monday. We ask, oh God, that you give everyone the enablement to be able to begin and finish. We will begin well and we will end well. Every day of the 40 days of glory will be a heaven on earth. Every day of the 40 days of glory will be an encounter with you. An unusual encounters with you. Every day of the 40 days of glory will be a time of visitations. Father, we thank you. We give you praise. We give you praise. We exalt you. In Jesus' name. Amen. And amen. Well, God bless you. We thank God for his, 
his uh, grace to give us the enablement to come before you tonight i want to encourage you all wherever you're watching from if you have not subscribed to our channels youtube or facebook please do so and click the, the notification button so that whenever we come on live you get the notification well uh join us this saturday for the takeover nation service beginning from at 10 30 in the morning and 6 30 p.m every saturday it's a service for the teens for youth and the young adults you don't want to miss it god is doing some awesome things in the name of jesus we have many people watching from across the world young people are watching and they are getting blessed get your children involved get your teens involved get your youth involved get your young adults involved so that they can be blessed together with you amen and, and also not to forget that in this month the 27th of june we have the young pastors conference uh which will be a just one day conference so if you know of any pastor uh let them know let them register it is free uh we have pastors from all across the world thousands of pastors will be joining uh, and they will be blessed and you will be blessed as well in the name of Jesus and last but not the least uh, our 40 days of glory is preparing us for our covenant 2020 and our theme for this year is our dominion mandate so I want to encourage you to prepare your heart to get ready because God is going to visit you in an unusual way in Jesus name amen well we've come to the end of the service let's share the grace may the grace of our lord jesus christ the love of god a sweet fellowship of the holy spirit be with us now and forevermore amen surely goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our lives and we shall dwell in the house of the lord forever and ever amen go from this place with this confidence and assurance knowing that christ in you is the hope of glory the lord bless you and keep you the Lord make his face shine upon you. The Lord give you peace on every side. May God cause you to be the head and not the tail. May his face shine upon you. In the 40 days of glory, may he restore unto you every lost glory. Go from this place with this confidence and assurance, knowing that you are a solution to the nations. We love you. God bless you. Have a glorious day.